you know, these guys think they're so funny. They think they're so slick. You can see their little laugh and dupe and delight. Again, these guys are Freemasons, you know, more than likely Catholic, uh, part of the Catholic knighthood, Jesuits. Uh, but for sure, you know, I would bolster to say that they're Freemasons. They're going to sit here and tell you that they're part of um, fraternities and all this other stuff. And they're going to make jokes about, oh, yeah, I got to hide my Baphomet head. Ha, ha, ha. You know, and then, oh, you know, there's another video because they're talking about the videos that I've made exposing these guys that these Freemasons only prop up their own. These ath former athletes and current athletes and former um, NFL referees and current NFL referees and these Dean Blandinos and all these stuff he's got pictures with of them out to eat, them hanging out. Okay. Connected people hang out with connected people. They're not. They're gonna. They're not gonna hang out with low peasants. Okay. They're not part of their fraternities. They're not part of the societies. They're not part of their brotherhoods. And that's why Chris and Jeff are hooked up together. That's why, you know, they're allowed to have this public platform. That's why they're teamed up with Saint Jude. Saint Jude's part of the Shriners and Freemasons. They're telling you that they're um, part of fraternities and they're gonna make Baphomet jokes. So we'll watch the video have a soft spot in my heart for Mark Brunel. We share a birth date. We share a fraternity. We share um, uh, we, we have another YouTube comment. video. Uh, <laughs> look at them. Another YouTube video. <laughs> These are just devils that don't care. I mean, look at the smiles on their face. Yep, we don't care. We're connected. We're part of that upper echelon elite. We're part of the demonic evil core brotherhood. Yep, that's why we're allowed to be successful. <laughs> Let's go hide the bathroom head. Oh, <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> oh, I don't have the Illuminati. Let me hide the bathroom head Sorry. real fast. <laughs> and then he mentions the Illuminati, which only a a dumbed down sheep with no discernment would ever even mention the word Illuminati. That's a CIA code word. Uh, you know, not that there wasn't any, that there isn't an illuminated bunch of people, and that the, you know. Not that, that 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 doesn't exist, but not the way that society thinks about the Illuminati. And, oh, there's the triangle, there's the pyramid, there's there's the all-seeing eye. It's just the Illuminati. You know, that's people get this stuck in their head, just like the, with the word conspiracy theory. And it's 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 just a trick. It's a mind game. And that's why these guys are saying it. That's why they're, they're playing these games. These guys have went through all the rituals, all the hazings, um, all, you know, participating, I'm sure, all the curses and... These people are just evil. They think it's funny. And, oh, there goes another video. See, they like it. They like the attention. They like the videos. And I seen this when it was first brought out. It was sent to me, obviously, by one of my subscribers. And I seen the video, and I was going to make a video on it, but I've been busy. It really wasn't worth my time, but just wanted to touch on this to let you guys know that these people are laughing in your face, okay? You're giving them your money, thinking that you're helping these little kids, and helping you're thinking you're doing your, your, your good good works and your good deeds, you know, just like Freemasonry, where they believe that, you know, you don't have to believe in Jesus Christ to make it to heaven. You can, uh, there's a, you can take Jacob's ladder, you can take the back way, you can take another way and just be a good person. And just by the preponderance of your good works, you know, as long as your good works out, outweigh your bad works, you know, and you're a good person, then you'll go to heaven. That's what they teach. That's what these, they're, they're all Luciferians. They're all devils. All their, uh, so-called values and morals, you know, there there is none there is none with their religion so anyways i just wanted to show you guys this video i'll play it one more time without me interrupting it and you can listen to it and by the way they didn't win a lot <laughs> which is kind of strange but so i will always have a, a soft spot in my heart for mark brunel we share a birth date we share a fraternity we share um uh we, 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 we have a lot youtube video I mean, I, I, <laughs> oh, oh crap <laughs> Oh, I don't have the Illuminati. Let me hide the Baphomet head Sorry. real fast. <laughs> Look at them. I don't have the Illuminati. I'll hide the Baphomet head. This is what they're joking. And see, the thing about it is the majority of people that'll hear them will laugh it off and be like, yeah, crazy tinfoil hat wears. <laughs> you guys, don't fall for this. Okay, these are satanic devils. They're puppets. They're gatekeepers. Okay, they're given. Go look up the definition of what a gatekeeper is, okay? They're basically in charge of truth, and they're going to see who... Uh, of a doorway, you know, of truth or whichever doorway you're talking about. And they're the ones that's either going to let you through or not let you through, you know. So they're satanic gatekeepers. They're guaranteed Freemasons. Already admitted that they're part of the fraternities. They're for a part of the brotherhoods. 
that's where it starts, guys. You know, with these families, they, they you know they start with the demolays. You know, these twelve and thirteen year old kids, and then they bring them up in these demolay societies. These rainbow girls, they bring them up in these small uh, fraternity uh, type things, and then when they get a little bit older, they introduce them to uh, full blown Freemasonry, and they 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 join these you know psi kappa alphas, these delta kappa psi's, and all this type of stuff. They join these fraternities. And if you ever notice in life, those are the people that are successful. Those are the people that have the connections. Those are the people that get the good jobs. Those are the people that have the nice houses, the nice cars, the ones that are, have the good high-paying checks. You know, that that's these guys, the people that are connected, the people that are part of the fraternities, you know. And that's why he's working with St. June. St. June is a Shriner Freemasonic organization. So just thought I would um, bring that to your attention. I'm sure there'll be... The majority of people who will just look over this video and think nothing about it. And then there'll be the few people that have discernment, have that connection with the creator. And they'll be able to pick up exactly what these men are saying. They'll be able to know exactly what they're talking about. And they'll be able to see right through them. And their little devilish smiles. So, gonna end the video there. Hope everybody's doing great. God bless you all. And I just wanted to get this little bit out there because they think they're funny. They think they're slick. And it's not a joke at all. I know they love the attention, but it's not funny. It's not a joke. And you will have to answer to Jesus Christ one day when you uh, leave this earth. Because remember, as soon as you leave this earth is immediate judgment, okay? So don't ever forget that. As soon as you leave this fleshly world, it's immediate judgment, okay? So that's what's going to happen with these guys. They're immediately going to be judged, okay? And unfortunately, they're not going to pass the, the, the standard because... They've been devils their whole life. They've been a part of the brotherhoods, the secret societies. They probably go to church and think they're good people. Because that's what these people do, these fraternity people. You know, the main people that are in church and these pastors and these deacons, they're all fraternity people. They're all in the same brotherhoods. They've all agreed to take the same oaths and keep quiet about it, to never reveal their secrets, to never reveal the secrets of Freemasonry. And that's against the Bible alone. You know, we're not to be taking any oaths. We're supposed to have our yes be yes and our no be no. Shouldn't be no oaths. But anyways, guys, just thought I would put this out there. God bless you all. Have a great week.